Let's do it. They couldn't just have an open gate button. It's probably the green one. What's funny is that, yes, I have played this game a couple of times before. So, yes, I do know for a fact it's the green one every time. But at the same time, the first time I played this game, I was like, it's probably the green one, and I just hit it. And I didn't fucking sit around fucking, like, looking at the other buttons. I used my deductive reasoning skills. What's the color for something that you want something, to, an action to happen that you want to happen multiple times? The ideal situation, you make it green. You know, everybody thinks green is good. Green, green, green means go. Green means go. <sighs> Damn. Damn, they got horses and shit, and swords and shit. That's fucking amazing, dude. I'm glad Jesus is on our side. That's for sure. That's for sure. Alrighty, let's go. I think it's full speed ahead, but I don't know. I don't know the terms. I don't speak no fucking classic American vernacular. It's before my time. Let's just say that. Oh yeah, listen to this fucking sound design, dude. It's terrible. <laughs> like, those so sound so dinky as shit. These are like some of the scariest assault rifles in existence. And it just sounds like... Ding, 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 That's what it's called. I just don't... I don't understand why. I don't even know anything about, like, serious audio engineering and audio design, and even I am like, oh, I feel like I could have done a better job. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's just keep going. Man, construction vehicles would make are the best vehicles in the apocalypse. They're fucking massive, and when they get going, you can't I don't know how much you can do to stop them. The only problem with them is how uh, inefficient they are with fuel, and that's about it. So what I'm saying is, in an apocalypse scenario, I would try and find the nearest dump truck and make that my home base. Because those things are fucking massive. Some of them get to the size of, like, buildings, dude. They're just... Holy shit. They'd make a great base of operations, in my opinion. Or a forward operating base. I don't fucking know. I don't know the right terms, dude. I'm not a fucking SWAT army fucking badass dude. I'm just a regular old gamer guy who likes to punch people and kick people a little bit. I like to play my video games. That's, that's it. Not some big old tactical nerd. That's it. Let's get out of here. Yep. Looks like the wall worked. Jesus, over here. We yep. need to round up these walkers. Head them towards the gate. Mm-hmm. The subtitles did not match what was said. Yeah, we kind of fucked shit up. Just a little surprising. That's all. Yeah, I'm so glad you came back. You didn't give up on us. Real glad. I gave you my word. Javi, we have to go after. You're a good man, Jesus. Take care of the rest of the walkers. Go, Javi. I'll help out here. Good. Okay. Let's go, Clem. God, these loading screens are terrible. It's taking forever, and I really just I don't understand why. The game's pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, looks like there was nothing but death and danger down this rod. Ah, oh, David. Now that rod got got yourself all busted and shit. Now I'm sad, brah. It's real, real, real sad that David died, brah. Damn, fucking Clementine doing her shit right there. Dude. Fucking badass. Gabriel. And here we are. No. I... I... No. Uh. I commend Telltale for fucking going hard at this point. 
crash. God damn it. David! Offer me Javi. Until they... <coughs> but I couldn't. There were so many. I fucked up. Yeah, shit sucks. After everything I'm not gonna pretend that I still don't dislike this character, but like, he was trying... He's a kid, man! Fuck! I don't like it when kids die. Ah, oh, I especially don't like it when they turn into zombies too and then try to eat me. I tried. I commend Telltale for going hard on the scene. They could have easily fucking not. But no, they went for it. They fucking went for it. That takes that takes balls, man. It takes balls to tell that kind of a story where that shit can happen. At least in my opinion. My playing cards. Grab them. <sighs> Teach AJ Euchre. Okay? Okay. How oh, Clementine will say it, so now I'm saying it. Bye, Clem. Hey, hey, wait. Yeah. Can I have one more hug? Aw. Thank you. Oh. Give me your gun, Javi. I don't want it. Turn into a muerto. Okay. Okay, but I don't know if I can let you do that to yourself. This shit and sucks. I can't make you guys do it for me. And like, it's sad. I'm just getting a little emotional, but I'm mostly just. Hurry. I'm mostly just angry. I'm. No. I'll let the. I'll let the scene play out. I'll do it. Just save my rant for later. Okay. Save my rant for later. I'm gonna be respectful to scene. Actors doing a really good job. My father, Abby. But you are a great dad. I feel that shit. You know. I love you. I love you too, buddy. Uh, Acting is really good. This scene is very touching. <sighs> well, now I can go up to David and be like, <laughs> Look at that. Not only did I fuck your wife, but I killed your son. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. All right, so, yep, I'm pretty, pretty upset. Pretty upset, but I'm saving it for later. I'm saving it. I'm saving it for later. I'm saving it for later. Hold my tongue. You know, at least a little bit. No, 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 game. No, no, no. He's not dead. Trip isn't dead. Trip's alive. I didn't see nobody. Fuck you, game. Yeah, no, Trip's not dead. Trip's not dead. He's not dead. Trip is alive. Uh, nobody. Not a confirmed kill. Trip's alive. Fuck you. Oh, fuck, Mariana. I'm glad you helped me, Javi. But I can't stop wondering how things might be different if you had. I know how they would be different. Maybe. But like I said, I'm saving it for later. Mariana right now. I'm saving it for later. They deserve I'm better, gonna... Javi. Better than us. By the acting play out, it was really good. Gabe. Me. It was fucking. Mariana. It was fucking David's fault. This wasn't our fault. This was David. Honestly. It was all of us. I mean, that's true, too. But, like, fucking... Had David... Ugh. God damn it. God... Da uh. David making me angry. It's David so making me angry. What about now? There's a lot mm. of work to be done. Yep. The herd could come back. Yep. It's true, too. 
Still, though, I feel more calm here than than I ever did in an old van on street. With no yeah, it's nice to have permanent shelter. This hobby. We as humans try to seek that out. You don't like quiet. constantly traveling. Let's start a family, you and me. Oh. A fresh start. Oh, so what you know, because our two uh, surrogate. Be good for us. Our two surrogate uh, children family. died, so now we get to make our own. We already had a practice run, and I think we learned a lot. So I, I bet if we have some of our own, they'll definitely live. Oh, that's, that was fucked up for me to say. Bugle, give him a bugle kiss. I like to give it kisses, Kate, because you got some nice lips for kissing. Be up there before we know it. Maybe, maybe later today you can let me, you can let me kiss your other lips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I am angry, and that anger is coming out in stupid fucking shit that I'm saying. So, uh, I'm, but I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm going to wait. There's a time and place for me to go on a rant. It's just, it's. It's not quite yet. It's, it's not, not quite yet. You know? Hey, Jesus. Uh, how's it going? We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Yep. Glad we got it settled. Yeah. Got I like you, Jesus. You're a good man. I gotta admit, man, you're a fucking badass. Yeah. You're a real charmer. You know that through and through. Mm-hmm. So they you say. Know, you know what they say? Takes one to know one. Ooh. <laughs> I was worried about Man, fucking Garrus. I forget the guy's really name, but the voice actor who plays you Jesus Garrus. Uh, he also plays Garrus in Mass Effect. I fucking love his voice. It's fucking amazing. I would, like, murder a thousand people if I could have a voice that sounded like that, dude. I just listen to it. Oh. I'll do it. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. And Joan was a fucking cunt. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. Mm. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change yeah, is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. <sighs> yeah. No, I'll, I'll fucking step up, like bro. You know what? I'm gonna step up. I fucked shit up real bad, and I'm gonna direction. take responsibility. As as I'm concerned, take my brother's place as a leader, and I'm gonna lead the new frontier to new horizons, bro. Too far away. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Good, good plan. That was a good plan. Good plan. You're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ Javi. Understandable. I've waited so long. But it makes you a better parent than fucking David. Favor before I leave. Oh, and the music, bro. The old music. Bringing back memories of the better seasons. <laughs> to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Worried. Yep. Not your business. <laughs> that was cute. I have to see AJ Hobby. I have to see that he's okay. I understand, bro. Like... Do you think he remembers me? I would he's fucking... Blue? Still too young. Maybe. Who could forget you? Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. I'd fucking... Everyone told us he was better off. I'd fucking, like, everything that's happened, turn over every I'm single stone to, right. to try and find my son. I don't and try and get back to him. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about it, because he is right next I door to my office. About it. Of course I you really are. wish I could. Did you love him? With all of my heart. And of course you were. 
I'm really lucky to have the spouse that I do. They've been an amazing mother to, play to my son. I couldn't I ask for someone better. I loved it. And I know it might seem a little weird that I'm talking about that right now, but like... Yep. Sure did. <sighs> These games changed a lot for me when I, when I became a father. They mean something different to me than what they used to. How? Moss gives you strength. I don't think you can. You just keep trying. I'm going to be real honest here. Fucking not being able to play baseball anymore. And then uh, losing a kid are two completely fucking different things, okay? I think I told you earlier that, like, I mentioned earlier that I can't do combat sports anymore because I'm so out of shape at the moment. And it feels like a part of me has died. And even that would not compare to me losing my son. So, you know, you know I just want to make things clear I'll grab your hat. that I, I don't find that line very appropriate. <laughs> it's a terror, terrible hey, job. teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, when you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. Yeah. It's a deal. Very sweet. If I bring AJ back with me, Will you teach him too? Bring him back. You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back. Kids being separated from their parents is like evil. If you force kid children if you forcibly remove children from your parents, it's evil. I mean, you know, there's a big old fat asterisk there because if the parents are unfit or abusive, then yes, the children should be removed. It's still traumatizing as shit for the kid, even if they end up going to a, a better, uh, better family, a better situation. It'll never not be evil in my eyes, right? So yes, I want Clementine to have AJ back. I think it would be best. All right. That was episode five from the gallows. My experience with David was adversarial. I refused his hand. I tried to leave Richmond without him. And in his time of need, you distance yourself. I distance myself. From, I don't know how I distance myself from him. Let's keep going, shall we? I was loving to Kate. I give her a big old kiss, kiss. I'll support Kate's play for the Sky Bridgman. I told Kate I wanted a future, and I told Kate I wanted to start a family. Uh, I was caring to Gabe. I shot him. Uh, Trip's not dead game. Uh... Trip's not dead. He's a good man, though. A good man. I left Eleanor at Prescott. Uh, I forgave Eleanor, you know, because I wanted to try and mend as many bridges as possible because that's what you need to do if you want your community to survive and you fuck shit up in that community. Uh, one of the things I like about The Walking Dead as a series is it kind of goes into the weirdness of international politics a little bit where it's like, in the in the show i haven't read the comics but in the show there's a little bit of that where it's like how do you make nice to a community that you previously had went to war with the war is over how do you continue from there it's you know it's it's a good question the show tackles that a little bit i don't know how the comics handle it i didn't read them uh there's jesus right there he's a cool guy conrad was a bastard who tried to kill my family so i shot him um Joan is missing. I think there is a way to kill Joan. I don't remember. Uh, Clint's fucking dead. Thank you, David. And now they don't get to see my choices compared to other people. So now it's fucking rant time, right? It's 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 mother fucking rant time right now. I gotta get my fucking webcam on, right? Cause let me tell you. That uh, last little bit there, right? Uh, where you get to choose who survives, essentially, when you're in that situation. Um, 
when I, I tried to match my first playthrough of this game, like, before I recorded anything, the first time I played the game as much as possible. Why? Because I was going after a certain outcome. And I honestly cannot think of a single, a single thing that I did differently, you know? I cannot think of a single thing that I did differently. And so, in that final moment, that final moment, there is a way to have both Kate and Gabe survive, which is what I wanted for this Let's Play, right? There is, in order to have that, Clementine has to decide to go uh, and save Gabe and not go with you. Um, and like I said, I didn't, I didn't do shit different. I did all the same choices as my first playthrough. And she decided to go with you instead of go to save Gabe. I don't... F I don't get it. I don't get it! My choices matter! <laughs> my choices matter. I think... Um, I looked it up online. I did not confirm this, but I think it does have to do with your choices from the previous games, which I did uh, considerably different from my first playthrough of the entire series. So maybe that has to do with it. I don't know. Uh, the Telltale games, your choices really don't matter that much in any of them. After playing through these games multiple times, like, it's more about the illusion of choice than anything. And, you know, you can tell a compelling story that way. That's part of the reason why I say that I haven't really made my dream uh, choice-based game. And I would like to see someone really attempt to make a really good... Uh, choice based game and it just really hasn't been done yet you know but the games the stories are good and this is just a, a weaker season compared to the other ones you know but hey what are you gonna do that's what you get when you fucking overwork your writing staff telltale I wanted to show this last scene, too. Look at that shit right there. Bam! 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 See, that's also what I mean. Trip could have easily survived. Uh, he didn't have to die. Oh! 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 Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. One more fucking thing. One more fucking thing. Uh, uh, I think the game would have been a lot stronger if Mariana had fucking survived. I'm getting kind of, getting really sick of media, video games, TV shows, movies, just doing you, cruel shit to the main characters for no reason. Now, I understand that they're not real people. I'm not coming at it from the angle of like, oh, I'm feeling bad for them. I'm coming at it, it's like, I truly believe the narrative would have been stronger if Mariana had survived. And I think it would have been more interesting, more dynamic, and fuck. We got enough boys, right? Shit, dude. Shit. Maybe I guess they didn't want someone competing with Clementine, but that could have worked too. I don't... I, I would have done things different is all I'm saying. All right? I would have... Now, I'm not some... I'm not a writer. I'm not, I'm not claiming to know better than the writers, but I would have done things different. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways... That's what it was. McFlubber Pants is all out of this hizzy. I'll see you guys next time. Cool? We're cool? This was, this, we're cool. This Walking Dead, Final Frontier, Star Trek. Yeah. Fuck you. Mm -hmm.